Last October, we saw the single largest attack against basic internet infrastructure in history. And that attack was launched from an attack network consisting of over 100,000 systems which had been hacked and linked together. And those systems were not supercomputers. They weren't even home computers. They were home appliances. Well, not these exact home appliances. I'm speaking about connected devices, the so-called smart devices, devices which go online. You might be thinking that this doesn't concern me because I'm not going to buy a smart washing machine or a smart toothbrush. I want a old school washing machine which only washes my clothes and a toothbrush which will not connect to my Wi-Fi. Well, you're out of luck. Because very soon you won't be able to buy any other kind. The Internet of Things revolution is going to happen whether we like it or not. Our televisions and security cameras are already online and very soon our dishwashers and ovens will be online as well. In fact, I believe that any device we use to plug into the electricity grid we will eventually be plugging to the internet grid as well. And the reason why this is happening is that it's becoming so cheap to add internet functionality to our appliances that the benefits don't have to be very large. And the benefits are typically there not for the customer but for the manufacturers. And these include collecting analytics. How you like your toast? How many washes a week you do? How many cups of tea you have a day? And these are benefits for the manufacturer, not for the consumer. The answer is regulation. We already regulate the safety of our appliances. Now we should regulate the security of our appliances. If you buy a washing machine and it has a short circuit and catches fire and burns down your house, the manufacturer is liable. But if the very same device leaks your Wi-Fi password, nobody is liable. That needs to change now.